Hello and welcome to Brilliant POV. Welcome to our video on the least successful presidents in US history. Throughout American history, there have been many leaders who have faced challenges and controversies in their time in office. But some have left a deeper impact, not for the good, but for the tragic events that define their presidencies. In this video, we will be taking a look at some of the presidents who are considered to be among the worst in US history. We'll explore their presidencies, the events and policies that led to their downfall and the devastating impact they had on the nation. Join us as we uncover the dark and emotional legacy of these leaders, and how their actions shaped the course of American history. Number 1. James Buchanan, the 15th President of the United States, served from 1857 to 1861. But his time in office is remembered as one of the most tumultuous and tragic in American history, due to his inability to confront the issue of slavery and the widening divide between the North and the South. Buchanan's belief that slavery was a state issue, and that the federal government should not intervene, only served to fuel the flames of discontent and division. As a result, seven southern states seceded from the Union, and Buchanan's presidency ended in 1861, with the outbreak of the Civil War. A war that resulted in the loss of over 620,000 American lives and Buchanan's legacy is forever stained by his inability to prevent one of the darkest chapters in American history. His presidency is often considered one of the worst in U.S. history because of his handling of the slavery issue, which ultimately led to the Civil War and the loss of so many lives. Number 2. Andrew Johnson, the 17th President of the United States, served from 1865 to 1869. His presidency was marked by political turmoil and a major crisis in the form of his impeachment and subsequent acquittal. Johnson assumed the presidency after the assassination of President Lincoln and inherited a divided nation still reeling from the Civil War. He struggled to reconcile the North and South, and his policies were seen as too lenient towards the defeated Confederate states. Johnson's impeachment was sparked by his decision to remove Edwin M. Stanton, the Secretary of War, from office in violation of the Tenure of Office Act. The impeachment process was a highly divisive and emotionally charged affair, with Johnson narrowly avoiding removal from office by just one vote in the Senate. Despite his acquittal, Johnson's presidency was effectively over, and he was a lame duck president for the remainder of his term. His impeachment and subsequent removal from office would have been a defining moment in American history, but due to the narrow vote, it remained a stain on his presidency, and a reminder of the deep divisions that still existed in the nation. Johnson's impeachment trial was a pivotal moment in American history, a tragic reminder of the political polarization that still existed in the aftermath of the Civil War. Number 3. Richard Nixon, the 37th President of the United States, served from 1969 to 1974. His presidency was marked by a major political scandal, the Watergate scandal, which ultimately led to his resignation. The Watergate scandal was a political scandal in the United States that occurred during the presidency of Richard Nixon, as a result of the break-in at the Democratic National Committee DNC, headquarters at the Watergate office complex in Washington, D.C., in 1972, and the Nixon administration's attempted cover-up of its involvement. The Watergate scandal brought to light the illegal activities of the Nixon administration, including the use of government agencies for political espionage, sabotage, and other illegal activities. It also revealed a culture of corruption and abuse of power at the highest levels of government. The scandal led to the resignation of key members of Nixon's administration, and ultimately, to the resignation of Nixon himself, becoming the first and only U.S. president to have resigned from office. The Watergate scandal was a defining moment in American history, a tragic reminder of the dangers of political corruption and abuse of power. It was a deeply emotional and divisive time for the nation, and it forever changed the way the American people viewed their government and their leaders. For Nixon himself, it was a personal downfall, his legacy forever tarnished by the scandal, and his presidency ending in disgrace. Number 4. Herbert Hoover, the 31st President of the United States, served from 1929 to 1933. His presidency was marked by one of the worst economic downturns in American history, the Great Depression. When Hoover took office, the country was in the midst of an economic boom, but within months, the stock market crashed, and the country was plunged into the Great Depression. Hoover's presidency was defined by his attempts to address the economic crisis, but his policies were criticized as ineffective and out of touch. During his tenure, the unemployment rate soared, and poverty and hunger became widespread. Millions of Americans were left without work, and many more were struggling to make ends meet. Hoover's response to the crisis was seen as inadequate, and his administration was criticized for not doing enough to help the suffering American people. 
The Great Depression was a tragic and emotional time for the nation, and Hoover's presidency was defined by his inability to mitigate the crisis and ease the suffering of the American people. His presidency was seen as a failure, and it was a defining moment in American history, a reminder of the devastating effects of economic collapse and the human cost of government's inability to respond effectively. Hoover's legacy is forever linked to the Great Depression and his inability to lift the nation out of it. Number 5. Warren G. Harding, the 29th President of the United States, served from 1921 to 1923. His presidency was marked by scandal and controversy, including the Teapot Dome scandal, one of the most significant corruption scandals in American history. The scandal involved the leasing of government-owned oil reserves in Teapot Dome, Wyoming, and Elk Hills, California, to private oil companies without competitive bidding. Several members of Harding's administration were implicated in the scandal, and it was a major embarrassment for the president and his administration. Harding's presidency was also plagued by other scandals and controversies, including allegations of corruption and misconduct by members of his administration. He was criticized for his lack of leadership and for his tendency to surround himself with corrupt and dishonest advisors. The Teapot Dome scandal was a defining moment in American history, a tragic reminder of the dangers of political corruption and the abuse of power. It was a deeply emotional and divisive time for the nation, and it forever changed the way the American people viewed their government and their leaders. For Harding himself, it was a personal downfall, his legacy forever tarnished by the scandal. His presidency was plagued by scandal and controversy, and it was a defining moment in American history, a reminder of the dangers of political corruption and the abuse of power. In conclusion, the presidencies of James Buchanan, Andrew Johnson, Richard Nixon, Herbert Hoover, Warren G. Harding, Franklin Pierce, James A. Garfield and Zachary Taylor will forever be remembered as some of the darkest chapters in American history. These leaders were unable to rise to the occasion and address the pressing issues of their time, leading to tragic consequences for the nation. Their presidencies were marked by political gridlock, divisive policies and personal tragedies. Their legacies serve as a reminder of the devastating impact that a lack of leadership and poor decision-making can have on a nation and its people. It is important to remember these presidents and the lessons we can learn from their failures in order to create a brighter future for all Americans. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.